This is Rad News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Today, we'll talk about Elon Musk planning the most boring money grab ever, a major country that wants to ban gas cars, and how to make an airline go green. Now, here's the latest in all things mobility. Of all the wacky ideas Elon Musk has come up with over the years, this one's got to be the most boring. Tesla announced last month that it would raise $2 billion by selling one hot commodity, stock. The EV maker put up an additional 2.65 million shares and a 5% discount to special buyers. For instance, Elon bought $10 million worth of the shares himself because, you know, you gotta spend money to make money. Oracle's Larry Ellison also committed to buy $1 million worth of shares. So I guess the moral of this story is that billionaires gonna billionaire. Our government's attitude about EVs here in the States is uh, pretty lax. Since climate change is probably a hoax, we're rolling back fuel economy, y'all. The Brits, on the other hand, are hell-bent on electrification. Oh, chaps, what do you say we quit internal combustion cars by, oh, say, 2032? Yeah, you heard that right. The British government is banning the sale of new gasoline, diesel, and even hybrid cars in a mere 12 years, folks. I mean, that's a little cuckoo, am I right? Look, we love electric vehicles just as much as the next greenies. But does anyone really think the UK, which has 32 million passenger cars on the road, but only 265,000 EVs, can wean themselves entirely off internal combustion in a dozen short years? Okay, so I don't have a crystal ball. But heck, if the British can put the kibosh on gas, diesel, and hybrid cars in almost no time, well, more electric power to them. So if you thought the UK's ban on internal combustion by 2032 was aggressive, chew on this. A UK-based group called Sustainable Aviation is aiming to make the British air transportation industry net carbon zero by 2050. Yeah, that's right. Despite the fact that travel volume is expected to increase 70% in that time frame, the group thinks they can fully neutralize their CO2 emissions. Okay, so. This is some fringe group we've never heard of with completely unrealistic goals, right? Nope. It's a network that includes Rolls-Royce, Airbus, EasyJet, and British Airways. Right. Listen, if these folks think they're going to reach carbon neutral through hybrid and electric planes, it simply ain't gonna happen by 2050. However, if the plan includes purchasing carbon offset credits, well, hey then, maybe they're onto something. Either way, props to their optimism, right? Right. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. For more tech news, join us over at Ride.Tech and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. Check, check, one, two, one, two. This is Ride News Now, I'm Allison Hayslip. <laughs> use your, use your voice word voice. <laughs> okay, so this is some fringe group we've never heard of with completely unrealistic goals, right? Nope. It's a network that includes... Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.